Now the latest on the Ebola outbreak and the controversy surrounding several states' actions. The nation's top infectious disease control official is criticizing New York, New Jersey, and Illinois' handling of Ebola. So those states announced a 21-day quarantine for any travelers returning after having contact with Ebola patients in West Africa. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yukono has more now from the mobile newsroom. Well, good morning. There is a bit of a battle brewing between these three states and the federal government now over how to monitor specifically medical workers when they return to the U.S. after treating patients with Ebola in West Africa. Those three states, as you mentioned, New York, New Jersey, and also Illinois, with mandatory 21-day quarantine for those returning from West Africa. And there's one nurse at the focus of the debate this morning. Casey Hickox is in a mandatory quarantine facility at a New Jersey hospital after returning from Sierra Leone, where she treated Ebola patients. She tested negative for the disease. She has no symptoms of the disease, but under the new state guidelines, she is required to be in that 21 day quarantine. Hickox calls the situation inhumane, and she's now hired lawyers to file a lawsuit. In the meantime, New York has already changed its rules. Governor Cuomo said people returning from West Africa who do not show symptoms can quarantine at home rather than at the hospital. The concern, of course, is that a mandatory quarantine discourages health care workers from traveling to treat patients. I don't believe when you're dealing with something as serious as this that we can count on a voluntary system. The best way to protect Americans is to stop the epidemic in Africa, and we need those health care workers to do that. The Obama administration calls those mandatory guidelines for quarantine in the three states, quote, not grounded in science. The White House is expected to release national guidelines for returning medical workers soon. With the Mobile Newsroom, Brian Yukono, Eyewitness News. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the Ebola outbreak and our local response. You can head to our website, WPRI.com. That's where you'll find our Ebola fact sheet to help you learn more about the virus.